a Bram Stoker's Dracula pre-DCS soundboard that somebody local brought to me. And I didn't realize that so much work had been done to it previously. Um, they socketed a bunch of these chips here, and that made it easier for me to test the chips, but uh, it was still kind of a pain in the rear. And I don't like taking on boards that have a lot of previous work done on it. And uh, some of the previous work done on this board was the root cause of the problem. They had replaced some uh, capacitors in the um, amplification section. The small one here is uh, 0.22 microfarads, I believe, and they had a four microfarad, or no, that one was open. And then there was one over here that was the wrong cap too. It was four microfarads and it was supposed to be something like 0 0.001. I can't remember now. This cap, by the way, C18, you don't need unless you're using this port here. Uh, the other major problem was that the 6809 on this soundboard was dead. So let me get some headphones on because I cannot stand those loud sounds like I used to. Okay. So now the volume will go up. The ear splitting level. Before I couldn't get it up to very high at all. It wasn't even high enough for uh, for my liking, which is not very high. Anyway, we can test the rest of this board. And now we're just making sure that all the sounds play. Okay, so we're good to go now. Uh, I guess the advice I'd give anybody working on boards, and uh, I, and I don't know that it was my client, I kind of my local client, I doubt it is. Don't go willy nilly changing capacitors around. Uh, make sure you get the right value, and make sure you're only changing parts for a good reason.